This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Hello and welcome to Boss's Day Out. Today we meet an entrepreneur in the true sense of the word. He's tried everything from turbocharge for trucks to air conditioners for ambassador cars. Today, Sona Koyo is the leading manufacturer of steering systems in the Indian market, with a market cap of about 350 odd crore rupees. The Sona Group comprises of many other companies that include components to services, and we'll track all that for you. Let's go meet the man himself, Dr. Surinder Kapoor. Mrs. Kapoor, very Hello, good morning to both of you. Good morning, how are you? Very well, thank you. Come join us at our breakfast table. We love, we love watching into our garden in the morning. It is lovely, yeah, great lovely. weather as well. Yeah. I can see you're having a very healthy breakfast. I'm actually, this is my last day. Okay. I, this, uh, we decided to go on a three day fruit diet okay. to detox ourselves. So we're going to detox you as well. All right, is he normally this healthy, Mrs. Kapoor? <laughs> <laughs> More normally, we have breakfast, uh, fruits for breakfast. Okay. And then eat everything else in the day. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad at my weight, so <laughs> this should help me at least detox if nothing else. So, Dr. Kapoor, what's um, the most favorite thing you look forward to in your day? These days, actually, I'm going through a great transformation in my own life. I'm spending a lot of time outside of the company. I'm uh, working uh, within CII. I've got a major leadership role in the mission, uh, innovation mission for manufacturing. Uh, plus, I spend a great deal of time these days with the National Manufacturing Competitive Risk Council. Okay. Uh, I think a great uh, amount of work needs to be done there. Mm. Uh, I'm also uh, right now actually in the process of writing a book. Okay. And so I spend some time there during the, especially on weekends. What's that um, about? Well, actually, I, I want to write a book on, I'm writing a book on entrepreneurship. Okay. I think, um, there's going to be a lot of entrepreneuring in India in, in the years to come and it's required. I'm, I'm really writing about the challenges of entrepreneurship. Okay. Mrs. Kapoor, what's uh, happening in your day today? Well, today is a very big day for me because later on in the evening when you come back here, this whole place is going to be transformed because we're going to have a, a, cunt, a sampat part okay. that will go on for seven days. Okay. So it's and all the, all the children are coming all here? Talking about children then, Mrs. Kapoor, who's, who's the darling of the lot these days? My two little grandmothers. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of was guessing that would be the answer. <laughs> we have actually uh, set up a video conferencing facility between, uh, in, from our bedroom to uh, both our granddaughters. Rooms. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that in the evening, if they're in, one is in Bombay, one's here, who's also in Bombay once in a while. So we are able to speak to them whenever they want to. So we have a <laughs> granddaughter calling us once in a while. And so it's great fun, you know, to be connected all the time. Excellent. Mrs. Kapoor, thank you so much. And we'll see you in the evening. See you. My office, okay. which I work out of. Excuse me, just give me a minute. On Saturdays, I normally do review of all the companies. Okay. I don't have any uh, any sort of internal meetings, which are more than just reviews. We're not discussing any strategy of any nature. All right. uh, I use Saturdays, for instance, to welcome new employees because I need to talk to them about the mission of the, of the group. I'm not really today involved in, in any, any specific day-to-day -day operations. Mm -hmm. So my role I'm playing now is really trying to create uh, a leadership in, in, in the group because I've so far been a one-man army okay. Yeah? Okay. Uh, till, till three, four years ago. Now I've really brought up a lot of senior management into the, into the authority 
an accountability position. Okay, so we're going to give you a few minutes while we actually go and explore your office a little bit. Okay. I see lots of interesting things here. Okay. So. <laughs> of awards displayed right here in Dr. Kapoor's office. As you can see, he's not only a successful entrepreneur and businessman, he's also a doctor. And this is the award he's won from uh, Michigan State University, acknowledging him as a distinguished international alumni after he finished his uh, PhD in mechanical engineering. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hi. How are you, sir? Good, good. Good, good to, to see you. you. Thank you, Professor, Thank you. for being with us again. So this is our quarterly review, isn't it, with Professor? Okay. Hi, how are you? Tell us a little bit about uh, what uh, you're going to do to change the old look. Actually, we've we've changed the we've evolved the logo uh, purely because we've become a more global company and we've started you know, doing a lot of business outside of India. And we've never actually had a logo and we've never had a tagline, so we've evolved the logo into. Um, have you got a card? Yep. Here we go. Yeah, we've evolved it into into this, where uh, you know that's a road. Uh, and our tagline is driving tomorrow because we're driving tomorrow's technologies. Uh, and the two sides of the logo really signify customers and partnerships. And one of our core strengths in our group has been partnerships. We've had partners ever since the inception. Let's go out to our plant. Let's go. Yeah, but before that, I'll take you to the school that we, we're doing some work in. Okay. Near our plant, okay? Namaskar ji. Hello, how are you? We're going to So in the middle of all that hectic corporate boardroom activity, we also have time for this. where it all started okay. and uh, the company today is called Sona Koyo Steering and when we started it used to be called Sona Steering. Right. Uh, we had only I think six and a half acres of land when we started. Today we've got 15 acres here and I've got four, three other plants that are about a kilometer away. Okay. So we've grown most of our businesses here. And you also have two plants in uh, Chennai? In Chennai we have two plants, in Nasik we have a plant okay. and in Pune we have two plants. Good morning. Please, please, please be seated. I welcome, please sit down, please sit down. Welcome you all to Sona Group. Uh, what I'm going to do today is really share with you my beliefs and my understandings about Sona. I'm going to start off with why Sona? Why is it called Sona? Some people think Sona means beautiful. Uh, to me, Sona means gold. And the reason why I've chosen this name, I'm from a family of jewelers. We've been in the jewelry business for uh, 115 years now. I call it Sona, and every, any of you have dealt with jewelers. Jewelers existed because of one thing, and that is the trust that they created with their customers. So one of the strongest values that I have been raised with and I, I, I have is that of trust. 